This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Anaplasmosis is a bacterial infection uh, that attacks the red blood cells of cattle. The male wood tick actually, the, the organism multiplies in the salivary gland of, of that male tick. So that's a, one of the big vectors. The other big vector is a family of flies that we call the Tabanidae, which are horse flies and deer flies. And, and those flies actually transfer blood by the bite and, and they're transferring fresh blood. That's how they transfer the disease. The animal, once they become infected, the red blood cells are scavenged out of the system, they become anemic. And so the, the signs that we see are uh, because the animals actually starve for oxygen. So we were talking about staggering, open mouth breathing, trying to get more oxygen in. The classical sign in Kansas in the, in the Midwest is that a hertz positive is that they find adult cows or bulls dead in the pasture, one or more one that we call the microscopic examination and that's taking a drop of blood from an, an animal that we suspect to be positive and staining it and looking at it under the microscope and the stain will stain the bacteria purple and that's a test that we're only going to use in those animals that are we see clinical signs. So the second test is, an, is a test we're actually looking at the antibody. Uh, so an animal is infected with anaplas, their immune system is going to build antibodies we're going to grab a blood sample and we're going to see if, that, if those antibodies are actually there. PCR, and that's a test that's relatively new, but it looks for a piece of RNA or a piece of a genetic material. And the neat thing about it is that the, or, the organism doesn't need to be alive. It, it'll find the, the DNA or the RNA either way. The goals is, do you want to be a free herd, which really doesn't make sense in the eastern two-thirds of Kansas, or do you want to just control the disease within the herd, know it's there, uh, you know, it's just a matter of how you want to deal with, with the disease and how much money you want to spend to take you to as few of clinical signs as, as possible. If your seed stock operation in the Flint Hills, you know, how much risk are you willing to assume that your bulls will transfer anaplasmosis to a herd outside of an endemic area. With anaplasmosis, if we wait until we see clinical signs, which is the letter of the law of the label, we're behind the eight ball. It isn't going to do us any good. With feed grade antibiotics, they are not legal to use in an extra label manner. Veterinary feed directives, which go into effect January 1, 2017, put enforcement in that ban on extra label use because the veterinarian has to sign off on it, uh, the producer has to sign off on it, there's copies of that VFD maintained for two years by the veterinarian, by the producer, and by the feed mill to prove what was done. So if, if we have to go by the letter of the law, there's some questions that need to be answered between now and January 1, 2017.